I'm Aisha Shehmir, the editor of Harper's Bazaar Art, and today we're at the Sharjah Museum of Islamic Civilization to view the current exhibition, Drop by Drop, Life Falls from the Sky, Water, Islam, and Art. Follow me. The artifacts on view show the relationship between water and Islam from its most ancient roots to its numerous developments. And what you'll also find is a common heritage that links Italy to the Arab Islamic world. As you explore, there's pottery, artworks, and decorated jugs, and so much more sourced from all around the world that really illustrate the wealth of Islamic art. At the very beginning, there is a manuscript with a verse from the Holy Quran which translates to and we created every living thing from water. Now in Islam, water is considered a gift of life and it is a great charitable act to give water to any living thing, whether a human or a plant. As you walk in further, you'll notice there are four different themes in the exhibition. The blessings of water and Islam, water and daily life, traditional hammam, and the gardens. We are going to pick a few pieces that really highlight the importance of water within a religious context, as well as its social connotations. In the first section, we have this large basin with inscriptions made from copper and decorated in gold and silver. This is known to have been used by Sultan al-Malik, a sultan of Egypt in the first half of the 14th century. Isn't that fascinating? There are also a number of 17th century Ottoman flasks on view, and these were considered a symbol of status and were often gifted by the sultans to others. Some of these were even used by the pilgrims to pour in water from the Zamzam well, which, if you didn't know, is one of the greatest miracles of Islam. In the traditional hammam section, you'll find this 19th century Ottoman bowl that represents the past traditions from the Byzantine world, Northern Europe and Venice. This was acquired during the Ottoman Empire's ruling of the Balkans territory. How incredible is that? Art history lovers like me can view this oil on board canvas Nubian Boy by the one and only Arthur von Ferraris made in 1936. oil on canvas painting called Alhambra Granada, the Court of the Lions by the late Italian painter Alberto Passini, and the Miracle of the Cross at the Bridge of St. Lorenzo by Italian Renaissance painter Gentile Bellini. You'll also find this 19th century kashkul or begging bowl, engraved porcelain water jar made in the 19th century, a kilga or jar stand from Egypt, a candlestick reused as a bucket in the 13th century, and a 10th century bowl with fish designs from Central Asia. And in the last room, the garden section, there is a water fountain from Ghazni sculpted out of marble with geometrical and arabesque decoration, as well as molded architectural home models. Now this exhibition is a collaboration with Fondazione Torino Musee, an art foundation in Italy, and these 120 artifacts are actually being showcased outside of Italy for the very first time. You can visit until December and there is so much to explore, so do not miss this exhibition. Thank you for watching and see you next time.